Found me. What's going on? B5 here back at you. NBA 2K18, the Prelude demo. Uh, Want to show you some examples why I think the uh, the new uh, engine or the new motion engine is um, a little wonky, um, a little funky as well. Um, I'm going to show you multiple examples. I might even break the videos up. I'm not sure exactly how I'm going to do it. But I want to show you here this first example. Steph Curry steals the ball from Isaiah Thomas and, you know, doesn't even get a chance to get the fast break that, you know, we would expect Curry to have. Especially that, you know, the fact that Isaiah is the only person, you know, only defender between him and the basket. So let me, let me show you this. So here we have a two-time MVP. He picks the ball from Isaiah Thomas, attempts to make a fast break, uh, but only to go lateral into LeBron James, allowing Isaiah Thomas to get in position. Now, obviously he's two-time MVP. He's going to make that happen regardless of whatever situation because that is Steph Curry. But let's examine this a little closer. So there's a couple issues here. One, there's limited animations which create limited fluidity so he steals the ball and watch his position when he grabs the ball but because of the limited animation they shuffle him so that he goes to the turbo animation and then he can move forward right here they need something to be able to have Steph Curry continue in that position he can't gather the ball correctly that animation won't let him gather the ball. That's the issue. Limited uh, fluidity because of limited animations. Now, as you can see, he should have had a beeline right to the basket in that position. Unfortunately, due to the limited animations and the limited fluidity, he does not. Goes lateral into LeBron James. Now, this is what I saw. There's another reason. The other reason is because of the possession camera. Obviously, we all know that 2K has... You know, whenever you're using your left um, thumbstick, everything, it could be camera relative, depending on if you have that setting on or off. Um, I don't know what the setting is here, but as you can see right in this position, I press forward. My, my player is moving forward because I was expecting the beeline towards the basket, right? Because of the limited fluidity and the limited animation, it, it made me not be able to continue it, it stalled me basically so therefore throwing off all kind of timing on whether or not I'm actually going to be able to beeline so what I should have done probably is wait for the camera to completely finish but then at the same time Isaiah Thomas would have got off to the races so you really can't get a jump on the fast break under these circumstances you see, and I go right into LeBron James. I realize that, man, I'm not making a beeline. I try to correct myself and continue forward. See, this is a problem. There's no animations to gather the ball, correctly sprint, and turbo from those positions. And that's the problem. Limited fluidity because of limited animations. Let's take a look. Uh, actually, I'm going to make another video. Um, so let's take a look at that next video.